Hello guys, welcome again to another edition of your everyday computer software tips and tricks. Today, I'll be sharing with you one of the AI tools that is causing a lot of buzz on the internet today since we entered 2023. And I know you must have heard about this AI tool. It's known as ChatGPT. Now, what is ChatGPT? Let's jump right in. So now what does ChatGPT stand for? So ChatGPT is short for Chat Generative Pre-Training Transformer. Now it's a large language model that was developed by OpenAI and was released to the public around November 2022. Now it is trained, it's an AI that is trained on massive, on a massive amount of text data and can generate human-like te text in response to a given prompt or question. Now, ChatGPT is actually a variation of um, GPT. Now, what GPT is generative pre-training transformer, as I said earlier on, and it is trained on a large amount of internet text. So it sort of crawls the internet for a large amount of text, which is fed into the AI. And then the text is actually fine-tuned for conversational language and understanding and generation of text. Now, this AI tool can be used for a variety of things. It can be used for text compilation, can be used for text generation, text summarization, and then sentiment analysis and a lot more. The possibilities are actually endless. Now, this AI tool is in its beginning stages. So it's still being developed, it's still being fine-tuned. So it's not actually 100% able to answer all questions or answer all questions correctly so it's still being developed so it has been released as a, as a way for people around the world to test this ai tool and see what they actually make of this of, of this chatbot now you can also use it for content creation if you are a content creator or if you are into research and development you can actually use this ai tool for that as well but in this video i'm going to show you how you can use chat gpt to generate article ideas if you're a blogger you can also use it to come up with ideas on what you write about in your blog post so here i am in google um, i've opened a google browser here and i've just typed in here chat gpt and that takes me to the page open ai so just click on open ai and it will open up um, the openai.com page for you now you can scroll in there and down here you can find chat gpt here just click on it and it will open up the chat gpt page for you so in here it says try chat gpt so let's hit on that so once you click on that this is where this is the page that it brings you to and this is where all the magic happens so in without wasting time in here let's see how we can try this um on a few articles that we want to write about so let's just say for as an example i'm writing about um i write blog posts for a travel and tour agency and i want to write a little bit about traveling around the world and you know i'm stuck i don't know what to write about i, I want i want ideas on what to write about so in here i can just go in here and say article ideas for travel and tour and just hit enter let's just see what chat gpt will come up come up with so maybe i'm stuck on what you write about so in here as you can see it's trying to come up with certain um, headings that i can write about some of them are the best luxury eco resorts in central america and the top food and wine tours in italy exploring the historic sites of egypt so this is just right off the top some headlines that i can you know write about if i don't actually know what to write about so let's just test it again let's see let's just say we want to test um, the AI on exploring the historic sites of um, of Egypt. So let me just copy that part. 
and put it back into the set bar and this time i will put before that i will put in there that write an article on exploring the historic sites of egypt and let's click on enter and see what it comes up with so right off the bat, you can see that ChatGPT starts writing an article about the historic sites of Egypt and some of the, you know, amazing places, some of the landmarks that people can actually visit in, in Egypt. So as you can see here, it has done a pretty good job of writing an article about the historic sites in Egypt. Now, I wouldn't recommend you just copying this and just publishing it on your blog post because um, you would have to proofread to make sure that the, the, the grammar is to your satisfaction or the writing style um, actually meets the way maybe your company or you write as an individual. And you can actually fine tune this. So in here, if I feel this um, article that is written for me, I want uh, more of a friendly tone, more of a professional tone to the article that is written for me. I can actually do that. So let's just say we tell ChatGPT that um, write the above article in a more friendly tone. Now let's see what happens. So it starts writing again. And this is what's so amazing and what's so mind blowing about this AI tool because it's actually written the article, but if you want to fine tune the article, if you want chatbot to actually change a few things in there for you, it can actually do that. That is what makes this AI tool so amazing. So now when I when I just compare the two articles, I can see that really the second one is has a more friendly tone to, to the, the, st the style of writing. So there, there are so many things that you can do with this software. Let's just give it another, another go. Um, let's see if we tell it to um, give article topics on how to code let's just say for example i mean this is just right from the top of my head so give articles on article topics on how to code now it starts um, giving some articles that we can write about a beginner's guide to python how to get started with coding um, building your first website with html ss and html css javascript and introduction to machine learning with python now, this, there, there are so many things that you can do with this AI tool, trust me. So what you just have to do is just go in there, whatever comes into, up into your mind, just give it a test. Give, um, make your, the questions even more challenging for the chatbot because whilst people are trying, um, trying this chatbot all around the world, it's actually helping the AI to um, um, train more learn more about all the prompts that people are people keep putting into this ai too and through that um, the developers are actually um training the chatbot to become um i mean optimizing the the, the answers that it actually gives out so i would um, encourage you to go in there if you have actually also tried the chatbot let me know in the comment section what you've been able to do with this chatbot because a lot is being done with this um, ai or this a powerful AI tool. So yeah, this is how you can use ChatGPT to come up with article ideas, blog post ideas to help you write good articles. So I would encourage you to go in there, create an account. The, the AI tool is in its testing stages. So before I know definitely they will monetize this um, great tool, but for the meantime, it's free. You can go in there and give it any prompt any question that you want to give to this chatbot and you'll be amazed actually what um, the answers that it can give to you if you found this video useful please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell 
so that you don't miss any new videos that i'll be uploading very soon thank you for joining me and i hope to see you in the next video